Here's a new pattern I came up with last week. It's a shad fly, call it the lote bug. This will be the one I want people to tie at the April beer tie, which is coming up this Monday, which is also flies donated to Project Healing Water. So if you're in TPFR and you got some time this weekend, tie up some flies and donate them on Monday. This material, oddly enough, came from the International Korean Grocery Store. And I'm going to show you what the material is, and I'm going to teach you how to tie this pretty easy fly. All right, so the hook, put the hook in. Let me go through all the ingredients. So the hook, I'm using a size 4 streamer hook, Sabre 7031 size 4. You could use size 6, that'll work too. The tail material is just going to be polar flash. This is uh, blue. I just picked this up in uh, at all seasons up in uh, Pulaski. Now the body material, this is weird yarn that I found in the grocery store. It's called like Samsung yarn maybe. It's $6.99 for this entire skein. And it comes in a variety of colors, purple, chartreuse, hot pink, uh, dull pink, blues, whites. And then just your standard, uh, I think it's number 10, bead chain. So we got it in our Regal Vice. And uh, before I start, I wanted to take non-toxic wire, another ingredient. I'm going to wrap the body with this. It's inexpensive and it's going to help you get down, especially if you don't have a sinking line and you don't want to invest one for the short shad run. Just cut that off. These are the scissors from AC Moore. They're crazy sharp. They're just not really fit for someone with uh, man hands. Any thread works. I'm just using Chartreuse 210 Denier Danville Flat Wax Nylon because it was out. I'm going to secure. The dumbbell eyes wrap down. Now I'm going to take my tail material. Don't worry if it's too long. You can always cut it later. And just wrap this back. And I will definitely be cutting that off. Now I've got a short piece of this material. I'm just going to tie it in. And I'm just going to wrap over the non-toxic wire. And then once over the dumbbells. As you wrap, just make sure you're not crushing the fibers from your previous wrap, just like when you're wrapping a regular hackle. I'm sure this stuff will have loads more uses, but this time of the year, I saw this and it spoke to me that I needed to tie shad flies with it. It's pretty simple. Like I said, I will not be at beer tie on Monday, so one of you can teach this, or you can just watch this video, and again, for my half hitch, I'm going to cut thread, and cut the material, pop this out of the vise, shorten up that tail a little bit. And there you have it. That's my newest shad fly, the Lote bug. It'll work. All right. That's it.